Every time I think that things can't get more absurd here in Clown World, uh, now we have a real Clown World because this is about the Joker. Wow, what a nice little tie-in right there. I never think about these things in advance. I just say them, then I go, oh, that's pretty That's pretty nifty. <laughs> this is not a nifty comic book we're about to talk about, though. This is wild. I can't believe DC Comics keeps doubling down on this nonsense, but we know that they're going to, so I'm also not surprised by it at the same time. Last year, we saw gay Superman, gay Robin, gay everything, and now, now it's 2023, friends. Gay was so last year. It's all about the trans. <laughs> let's get into this in just a second. Uh, you know what's coming, so let's have some fun. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, and you can count on me in my comic books that I'm never going to put this crap in there. It's just going to be standard good superhero fare out of Flying Sparks. I try to create the stuff that I love, uh, the stuff from the 80s, the 90s, from DC Comics, the stuff that Chuck Dixon used to bring you, the, Ch the stuff that Mike Barron used to bring you, all the good stuff from the excellent writers who really just like created characters and actually changed things around that time. So it was really character centric where you actually identify with characters a bit more because there's a lot of depth to their storytelling. That's what I'm trying to do here with superhero comics. And I hope you'll join me in my new awesome movement. It's called the Iron Age where we're making heroes great again. So check this out. My, uh, my links in the description below Kickstarter. I'm probably going to launch this in about 10 days, maybe somewhere in there. Um, and then we'll have a great campaign for flying sparks. This has been an epic sweep superhero uh, deal. And of course, there's no uh, pregnant men in it. <laughs> hit, the, hit that button. I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. Thanks. All right. Here's the story of the day. Oh, man. Oh, it, gets, it gets worse. This is a YouTuber called Jester Bell. And I actually like watching her content quite a bit. She's really not as, uh, I'd say, like full tilt culture war as we are around here. Uh, but she has some good takes, uh, and she seems like a honest, earnest person. That's really all I care about at the end of the day. Don't ask everybody to agree with me. But she uh, brought this to a lot of people's attention yesterday. Today, DC released a comic in which the Joker becomes pregnant and gives birth to a mud monster who transforms into a child version of himself who he adopts as his son. I don't know how much longer I can do this. <laughs> well, I mean, if their intention is to get like, people talking about this book, uh, I guess they did so. Uh, and if you looked at this outside context and you you were like looking at this in the 90s and you were looking at remember uh, when when Arnold uh, Schwarzenegger made that movie where, where he became pregnant and it was it was ridiculous, but it was a joke. It was obviously a joke. And this is the Joker. So I kind of want to take it with a grain of salt. But the problem with DC Comics is you can't tell the difference between them screwing around with something funny and them actually being serious about their SJW crap anymore. It's been so much of this over the last couple of years. It's like, where is the line? What is this about? And this seems like, because I know the writers at this point, that it's a commentary on the trans stuff at this point. We'll not call him a man anymore. We'll call him a birthing person, okay? <laughs> they, them, hashtag. Here we go. What have we here, said the Joker? Well, I think you're pregnant. I think you're right. Do we have a good OBGYN we use? Ugh. <laughs> It's so ridiculous that they're pushing men being pregnant. They're pushing women being men. Everything's being uh, ass backwards in this clown world. And this is a great representation of exactly what we're fighting in the culture war. While the Joker is like quite a symbol here, I really think that, uh, you know, this re exemplifies everything that we're fighting against, everything that we're trying to just push back into normalcy. Because men are men, women are women. No matter how many times they tell you this over and over again, no matter how many times they try to just like subvert you with this agenda, try to confuse children at this juncture, uh, that's going to be a fact. And it, until we get back to that in our society, until we get back to real families, real values, uh, we're just going to be on a destructive path for everybody. We're going to be the Joker as a society because it is insanity. And that's what they're missing when they try to put messages like this. This is an insane character. And so when you actually are trying to push these sort of insane messages, when you're using an insane character to do that, it actually proves the point that normal people don't act like this and normal people need to get away from this as fast as possible. So that's my commentary for the day. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> are you reading this book? I guess this comes from, uh, Jester Bell talked about this. It's called um, uh, The Joker, The Man Who Stopped Laughing, uh, issue number four, because they have to subvert the man who laughed, which is what they used to do uh, with the Joker, but oh well. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll be back soon.